I feel it's the material give me a voice. The material is a kind of a, a necessity as an identification. I grew up as a young kid in a farm. You know, my parents have always been farmer. Actually, I'm the only one with a college degree. I'm used to just it being around, and I choose to make these things with my with my father. You know, fish traps and catching frogs and snakes and stuff like that. So I think I'm a realist. My art is real. I'm making real objects. There's nothing abstract about it. The old rule of some in, in a Cambodian art school is think before you do. I say, well, do before you think. In art, you can actually do before you think. And that's the intuitive part, like playing. In fact, when I made Compound, uh, it was the poorest time in my life. My studio was on the lake. We got the news that you have to move out, and they buried a lake, you know, with sand, and then they built a, a new, like, a city inside of it. That was when I started to think about, oh, you know, it's, nothing is secure here. You can, you can get kicked out. So it was some feeling about destroying something in order to build something, and I, I kind of like the idea that artwork can be transformed already after you make it. That piece called Compound, so it's kind of free to be whatever it is. The environment affects the way I work and the way I think. I live here, you know, I don't live anywhere else, I don't make my work anywhere else. I like to think slowly, I like to do things slowly, because that's our way. This is how Cambodia works.